hi guys welcome back to our channel if you're new here make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video today we are making chicken pot pie this recipe is definitely beginner friendly and it's easy to make all the ingredients will be in the description below now let's get started you're gonna need a medium sized pot and then you're gonna need one cup of water and one chicken bouillon cube if you don't have a chicken bouillon cube just use one cup of chicken stock next is onions she used only half of the onion she is just going to cut them in smaller pieces when you are cutting with a knife make sure you're always careful and make sure you don't cut yourself Once she is done cutting the onion, she's going to put it into a small bowl and then place it on the side for later. Next, you're going to need a medium pan and about three tablespoons of butter. You're going to let the butter melt all the way down and then add your onions. She's gonna stir the onions around until they get really soft. Then she's gonna add three tablespoons of flour. She's going to mix the flour and the onions around for a few more moments. Once it starts looking like this, you want to add one cup of evaporated milk. You want to stir this mixture around until it becomes thick. Once it starts looking like this, it's time to add your seasonings. She's gonna add a few shakes of sea salt, then a few shakes of black pepper, then a few shakes of ground sage, then she's going to add some thyme. And she's gonna add the chicken stock that we made in the beginning. That looks a little weird now, but once you stir it up, it looks really, really good. Once it starts looking like this, you want to take it off the heat and then add your vegetables. Now for the vegetables, you obviously do not have to use frozen vegetables, you can use fresh vegetables, but we like quick and easy recipes, so we went with frozen. The reason for this is you just don't want to overcook anything, especially your chicken. After the vegetables, add in your chicken, and you just want to mix that combination in. Once it starts looking like this, it is time to add on your biscuits. Make sure you preheat your oven to 300 degrees. The type of biscuits she is using today are flaky. You can get them from Odie's for 89 cents, I think, probably less than that. Um, these are my favorite type of biscuits. They're so good. 
A lot of people in the comments were complaining that the recipe that they found online for chicken pot pie had their biscuits still doughy. Usually when people cook, they tend to cook on high heat. Just put your oven on 300 and your roux and your biscuits will cook evenly. She is then going to add butter on all of the biscuits. Then she's gonna add some onion salt. Then it's ready to go in the oven for about 25 minutes. I just wanna show how good it looks before it even goes in the oven. After about 25 minutes, your chicken pot pie should look like this. This looks like heaven. Your biscuits are golden, your roux is perfect. If you guys wanna see more videos, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe.